With ArcGIS 10, you can very easily enable web editing on your geodatabases. Let me show you an example. This is a web browser-based application. It displays imagery as a base map. And on top of this imagery, we are displaying information coming from my geodatabase, points and polygon observations from the field. I can edit this information, click on the feature, and change its attributes. As you close the window, this information is committed to the geodatabase. Let me click again to see the changes. You can also change the vertices of the geometry, or even move the feature around. You can also add new information. Click on the gallery first, then click on the map. If you want to draw a new polygon, simply click on the gallery and start drawing. OK, I guess you get the point. Let's see now how you can enable these capabilities with ArcGIS 10. The first thing that you want to do is to add the data you want to be edited over the web to a map document. Symbolize it accordingly and make sure that your data is coming from a multi-user geodatabase. In my case, I'm using a SQL Server Express database because I have ArcGIS Server Standard Workgroup. But with the Enterprise Edition, I could also edit Enterprise geodatabases like SQL Server, Oracle, DB2, and so on. In ArcGIS 10, editing works with the notion of templates. When you start editing, a collection of feature templates is created. Normally, this collection comes from your table of contents, but you can actually customize it to your needs. Basically, these feature templates allow users to simply click on the gallery and then click on the map to add the new feature. You will notice that each of these templates defines the name, description, symbology, but also the default values that will be associated with each feature template. Now that you have created the map and you have created the feature templates, just make sure that you get rid of any other layer in the map that you don't want people to edit. At this point, you are ready to save your document and publish it as a new service. Let me save the document here. And now I will publish it using the Map Service Publishing Toolbar. At this point, you'll see that you can enable the feature access capability. This is what is going to make your map service editable over the Internet. This is a new capability that we added in ArcGIS 10. Just make sure it's checked and then publish the map service. Go to the services directory to look at the map service you created from a web browser. Here's the map service we created. Remember that we enabled the feature access capability. This is why this feature server has been created along with your map service. If you click on it, you will find that this feature service includes the different layers in your map document. And if you go deeper, you'll see that the feature templates that you created are also advertised as part of the services directory description. This allows the different clients to display these feature templates in a gallery. We added a new link to the services directory so you can look at your feature service from an ArcGIS.com map. OK, here you go. So now let me navigate to this area. I'll change the base map too. And this should be familiar, because this is how we started the application. Click on the Edit button to enable the template gallery and start digitizing as we demonstrated before. Here is another out-of-the-box web editing application that ships with ArcGIS 10. In this case, this application is called the ArcGIS Viewer for Flex. It's a downloadable and configurable application that you can use to run your own editing applications within your firewall or on the public internet. The editing experience is very similar to the ArcGIS.com application that we saw before. You have the gallery and you can click and start drawing on the map. You have the Attribute Inspector to edit the different attributes, 
and if you go and click on the polygon you can also change the vertices and uh, even uh, move the feature and so on. Another feature in ArcGIS 10 that I want to highlight are geodatabase attachments. So here we have a feature, a dolphin feature. If I click on it, I can switch to the attachments view. And you'll see that this feature has a picture associated to it. Now this image is coming from the geodatabase. We call these geodatabase attachments. Geodatabase attachments can be downloaded, as you can see, from a web browser. But you can even add or create new attachments right from your web browsers. So let's click on this feature switch to the, to the attachments view and select the file that we want associated with that element. This picture is now in the geodatabase. We just uploaded it to the geodatabase over the internet. So any client connecting to the geodatabase will be able to see this attachment associated to my feature. So with this we are going to finalize the demonstration. We saw how to author a map document how to publish this map document for web editing, and we had a look at two different applications for editing, the ArcGIS.com viewer and the ArcGIS viewer for Flex, both out-of-the-box web editing applications.